Hey, what is up, guys? Pretty here. So today we have another uh, car workshop paint.net tutorial. Uh, today we're going over two quick different logo designs, uh, as requested in the comments in the last video. I figured this is the best way to do this instead of making an all-around video. Just you guys specifically ask for certain logos and certain techniques, and I will try to show them in the next car workshop. Uh, so today we're doing a '80s slash Vice theme, Vice themed. Uh, local tutorial uh, which was suggested by Jimmy can't stand by your can't stand your bits I think I'm saying that right who knows and also we have a uh, transparent text that's outlined uh, from Ray Supernor all right so let's go ahead and hop into this all right so first things first we're just gonna do uh, outline text that's transparent because it's the easiest one to hop into real quick uh, so we'll be able to this should be somewhat of our end product here today uh, so first we're going to go ahead and delete this layer right here we're going to start fresh and we're working with a thousand by thousand just so you guys know all right we're going to go over to text we're going to pick whatever text we want to use uh let's go with dr glitch that one will look pretty sick we're going to type in the words that we want let's go with p-r-e-d pred that's way too big that is way 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 too big that's good right there all right, then we're going to go to uh, the easiest way to get this effect. You're going to need the outline object uh, plugin pack, which you can find on the paint.net plugin pack uh, forum. It's uh, really easy to find. I'll link it in the description below for you. Uh, everything you download with the star will have an installer, so it'll make it a lot easier. But you're going to want an outline object and make sure you outline it a different color than the text itself. This will make it a lot easier for you. All right, we're going to take that down a little bit and that should be good go back to our magic wand tool we're gonna click on the uh, color of the text we're gonna hold shift and left click on the text we're turning all the way up to 50 on the tolerance then we're gonna hit delete and there you go that's pretty much all it takes to make outline text in paint.net that has a transparency but still has the outline so um yeah that's pretty much it on that uh, you can do this with any font should work just fine also it's a lot easier if you go to the adjustments to use two-tone threshold it's a lot easier that way but this one works just as fine too and you don't need any kind of plugin except for the outline plugin which i highly recommend any either way whatever you whatever you want to do i still recommend having the uh outline plugin because it helps so 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 much all right so next we're going to hop into the 80s slash device seemed to logo attire right here as you can see you'll be able to make this logo right here by the end of this tutorial Hopefully, you know, if I'm any good at this, which uh, Lord knows I'm probably not. So uh, let's go ahead and hop into it. As you guys can see, this is made up by three different layers. First, we have the logo layer, as you can see right here. Next, we have the colors layer, as you can see right here. And then we have the uh, predator image layer. All right, and when you put them all together, you get this. So let's start brand new. We're going to open up a thousand by one thousand area to play with, get our magic wand, delete the background, make sure to select your text tool. Uh, we're going to go back with Dr. Glitch because I really like the way it looks right now. Uh, we're going to bring down the uh, text size a little bit though. Let's go with eh, 96, sounds about right. And we're just going to type in Predator once again. Alright, looks pretty good. Lower it down just a little bit. This will make it easier later. Alright, we're going to open up a brand new layer. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and make some. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and make a transparency using purple or just bright, vivid pink, and then orange. This seems to work the best if you're trying to make a '80s vice themed uh, attire. Just these two colors work perfectly together. You can do it with any other color though, like say uh, yellow into red, or actually yellow into red would probably look like tough shit. Like yellow into purple or anything like that. Just as long as they're like kind of almost on two ends of the uh, color spectrum too uh, but purple and orange really go together for that vice look so we're gonna go click on the gradient then we're just gonna click drag it down and we're gonna lower this down a little bit and that's pretty much it on that all right then we're gonna go click back down to our layer that has the text on it hold shift and click the background go back up to the layer that has the uh, gradient on it hit delete and there you go that's how you make the text I can go, rid of our, go ahead and get rid of our plain text right there. All right, next we're going to make a couple of lines to go in the background of the image. Uh, so we're going to open up a brand new layer. We're going to move it down below Predator. 
and we're just gonna make a couple quick easy lines make sure you have the line set to up here there's a uh, flat arrow field arrow and the rounded make sure you want to have it to rounded just a lot of these 80s seem to tire if you want to go for the neon just remember you don't want edges you want round uh, more for lines and stuff like that all right so we're just gonna make it little little curved around just a little bit I'd say that's perfect right about there all right I'm gonna duplicate the layer and then we're just gonna drag it right above that one all right looks good to me we're going to merge that layer down, duplicate the layer with both of them on it. We're going to edit, deselect, because that's annoying to see. Then we're going to go to layers, and we're going to hit flip vertical. Then we're just going to drag that down to the bottom of the image. And there you go on that. All right, edit, deselect. Again, I just find that really annoying. We're going to merge the layer down, open up a new layer, and then we're going to do another... Whoops, wrong tool there. Then we're going to do another, uh, another gradient. Alright, we're going to drag it down, there we go, hit our magic wand tool again, go back to the layer that has the lines on it, hold shift, left click, and you guys are getting the picture by now, go back to the, go back to the layer that has the gradient on it, hit delete, and there you go, on that. Alright, so now that we have our basic text uh, logo pretty much done, uh, actually we're going to make uh, Predator just a little bit taller, and yeah, it looks pretty decent right there. All right, we're gonna edit, deselect. All right, next up for our image of Predator, I uh, already have one uh, cropped out and everything. We're gonna hit copy, go back to paint.net, and then we're gonna hit, we're gonna open up a new layer. Actually, I'm gonna merge these two together so to make it easy to work with. We're gonna bring this down below, and then we're gonna hit paste. All right, then we're gonna size Predator to the size we need them, uh, right around, actually, let's go a little bit bigger here looks pretty good yeah all right next we're gonna take out our magic wand we're gonna hold shift and we're gonna click on the purple because that's the color I want to change all right that's way too much actually right there looks just about right uh, don't worry uh, we're gonna make a new layer go back to gradient and then we're gonna make a gradient as you can see right there it looks really cool and it's gonna turn out really cool as soon as we're done I promise all right we're gonna go ahead and edit deselect and as you can see, there's a lot of stuff that shouldn't have been suggested, but shouldn't have been uh, that shouldn't have been selected. But we can fix that real quick with the eraser. We're gonna open it up, make it really big, so it'll be a lot faster. But yeah, we can just erase it right now, and you get rid of that. And that's that's why I specifically opened up a new layer to do this because it makes this so 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 much easier. I'm right, gonna get rid of all this on his arm because I don't like the way that looks. All right, we're gonna get rid of some of this on the other arm. Get rid of the stuff on the shoulder. Doesn't seems way out of place. Again, clean up the arm a little bit, and that's pretty much it on that. Next, we're gonna go down to the layer that has the actual image of Predator on it. Hit adjustments, two tone thresholds, and uh, we're just gonna make it black and white. And we're just gonna fool around with this until we get something we like, like this right here. I really like the way this turned out. Then we're gonna go back down to the uh, back up to the layer that has the gradient on it. Hit effects, photo, and glow. And uh, let's see, work around with this a little bit, see how it turns out. Maybe decrease the brightness a little bit, and there you have it. So you have a glowing gradient effect on the bandana, the uh, the wrist tape, and the uh, all the uh, drips that I've added to the uh, to the PNG. And uh, that's pretty much it on Predator. He's pretty much done. Next, we can go back to the Predator logo. We're gonna give it a nice outline. We hit outline object. We're gonna make it, yeah. We're gonna make it black. Actually, you know what? We'll make, uh, we'll do one layer of white. Ooh, that's way, way too much on the strength. All right, we'll go down a little bit. That looks pretty good. Then we're gonna go back to effects, objects. We're gonna bevel object just a little bit. All right, a little bit more than that though. All right. Then we're gonna go back to effects and we're gonna hit glow. And uh, yeah, you'll get a really nice effect this way. Maybe up the contrast a little bit, see what we get. A little bit more of the brightness. And then you get these cool sparkling effects too, sometimes, if you do it right. Uh, we're gonna hit OK, looks good enough. Go back to effects, object, and we're gonna try to outline the object too as well. This time we're gonna do it in black so that the rest of it stands out. Maybe lower the strength just a little bit and really ratchet up the outline radius. And maybe go down one more on the strength and that way it really pops against the uh, other surface of the video. That's pretty much it. 
that's pretty much it on this uh, 80s themed attire real quick. Uh, just know that if you want to just be sure to use the glow effect. It really makes it pop and uh, outline bevel really makes the uh, text and everything look better if you're going for the 80s uh, slash vice look. Also, I'd recommend also doing you know, purple and orange. You can't go wrong with those two colors for vice. And that's pretty much it for this video, actually, I think. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Or if you have any suggestions for the next video, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. But before you go, let me show that too sweet brother brother.